Hello Virgo, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you guys at this time. Your overall energy is the four of swords. So maybe needing to think about something or maybe not even having to do anything. You have the knight of wands in your energy, the two of cups. We have the five of wands and then we have the three of coins. Ooh, okay, under the deck is death. So yeah, there's, there's something turning here with this person you are dealing with. All right, something's changing, but it could be that it's changing for the better because it almost looks like you're going from fighting to getting along, but we'll see what shows up in the reading. All right, what do you need to do, Virgo, with the Four of Swords? You have the Five of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, let me do one more for that, and the Two of Cups. Okay, so there's definitely love between the two of you. Even Two of Swords is under the deck, so it kind of feels like, I don't want to say you don't want to admit it, but it's just something... It could be someone coming back in or it could be communication from the person you're dealing with. There is definitely love here. I don't feel like this is an ex or anything. I feel like this is just someone around you right now. Yeah, five of wands again, knight of wands again, four of coins. So definitely could be some arguing between the two of you. Someone may not be telling the other person how they feel. There could be arguing because one person feels like the other person, you know, doesn't settle down. This could even be you because it is in your energy, but maybe you feel like you need to you may need to settle down when the four of swords shows up and you have nine of wands in your energy so you may be like overworking or like so scattered you know when you get so overwhelmed that you're like making little mistakes here and there and um i kind of feel like you're hiding something with the four of coins like not in a bad way but kind of like you don't want to express how you're feeling if you are feeling overwhelmed possibly i know nine of wands is not overwhelmed energy but that's just kind of what i'm picking up right there but at the same time if you feel like you're partner is a flirt or a player or they feel like you are this is also the problem so let me see what the two of cups is you have the four of cups the four of wands the eight of cups okay next card was a nine of coins so this is some a relationship where there was an offer to either be together live together but you may have decided to walk away or they did and be single but yet there's still a very strong connection because they're showing us the two of cups in this reading twice both decks already have it out so with the five of wands you have the eight of coins working looking at the past you feel very overwhelmed Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting for a lot of you that there's just a lot of pressure on you. Um, you know, and of course it could be work, school, kids. It doesn't have to be just one specific thing. It's just life in general, but you, you're carrying a heavy load and you're tired. You've been doing this for a while. This may make you a little combative. This may make you, you know, not so easy to get along with, or this is your partner, but let me see what the three of coin is. They may want to like help you. What I'm seeing here. So strength, 10 of cups, yeah, you have some type of new idea or some type of change coming in. You're going to see something differently. So I feel like there's somebody who is actually saying, you know, let me help you, Virgo. Let me give you, you know, let me do this for you. I care about you. And you may be saying, no, I can do it all on my own. You don't need to help me, possibly. And I feel like this is your partner. This is a love interest. Or you may be doing this for them. Let me put one more card in the four of coins because I put four on the breast. You may deal with a fire sign, but then again, Okay, we have three of cups under here. So again, there might be this player energy. I kind of don't see it in the rest of the reading, but it might be. But I feel like you have it together when I see that there. It's like you look good, you smell good, you work hard, you play hard. You're just, you know, people, you know, admire you when you walk in a room. This person admires you, but you're taking on too much. It might be what it is, Virgo, right now. You've got a lot going on. And this person you're dealing with does love you. They want to work together with you. So you may be moving. Also, the Ten of Cups, you might be moving back in with a friend or a family or this person who is just, someone, someone deeply cares about you. It's kind of what I'm picking up here. And they, want to, they don't want to see you struggling. They want to help you. So the death, I feel like, is just a big change coming in. It might be a Scorpio you are dealing with, but you have a decision to make. You're not sure. Okay, yeah. Well, they're showing it as an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I feel like maybe maybe you don't trust this person with the Seven of Cups showing up there, or you're just going, why, this, why is this person helping me? Because they love you. They're a soulmate. They're meant to help you. Um, let me do some advice. Let me just see some advice for this person. Okay, so we have the unexpected. So something exciting, something ex unexpected is going to happen. Um, you may not expect this person to respond this way, act this way, or help you. This person truly loves you, so it could be like even unexpected message. You know, Eight of Wands is here. You feel stuck. They want to help you. What is the energy here from this if it is a mask? Oh, so someone is not showing their true feelings, pretending. So this could be you, but I do feel like like you, at this point right now, or coming in, even at the end of the month, you may just be really overwhelmed, but on the outside, if you're the queen of wands, nobody sees this. 
And again, this other person may be the one that really has deep, strong feelings for you. They care about you. They do not want to see you, you know, struggle. They may have love for you also. This could be the beginning of a relationship. Um, there's definitely could be some revived or some passion between the two of you, no doubt. Strength. Okay. Advice also here. Whoops. Okay. Unrequited love fell out. So maybe that's part of the problem, but the way it fell out, I'm going to put it back in. This may be the problem. Maybe you are not interested in them in the same way they're interested in you or vice versa or something, possibly. Let me see. Hang on. I got to do that one more time. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay. We have you deserve love. So you are lovable. And passion is under the deck. So I feel like you deserve love. I feel like some of you need, you deserve help also. You need to be loved. You need to know that you're lovable and someone wants to help you and this person loves you. Um, it also does sometimes signal that somebody is in a relationship where they're not being um, appreciated. And so you need to maybe look at that and find someone who does appreciate you. I am going to clarify the seven of cups because there is this feeling of like, what does this person want? What's in that cup? Because they're offering, like, is there an ulterior motive? Maybe that is what I'm seeing here. Is there an ulterior motive from this person? What is the seven of cups, please? Okay, I just saw the king of cups, so it might be a water sign. Sorry about the noise. Temperance, three of wands, the world. There's something ending here. Eight of swords, five of cups. You know, okay, for some of you, this person, okay, this person might have done something to you in the past. They might, because I'm seeing maybe someone who might feel guilty. Okay. Um, also, for some of you, okay, it could be Sagittarius, but this is like somebody wants to start a new cycle with you, though, and it seems to be kind of like they have gone through some changes with death and the world showing up here. If that's a concern of yours, some of you that might not resonate, it's just someone who just loves you and wants to just be with you or accept you in. Others of you, if you're feeling stuck and like things just aren't working out, know that if you do accept this offer, you will go to the Nine of Coins. So I'm just getting like there's someone here who does deeply cares about you and you may un get an unexpected invitation or invite or that they truly do. I'm sorry, I'm going to say it again. They love you. They care about you and they want to show you that by helping you. So if you're going back to the four swords, I wouldn't like overthink this or worry about this. I wouldn't put a lot of like thought into like, why are they doing this? Is there an ulterior motive? No. Um... Let me see if I need to do anything else. Let me see the Ace of Wands because there could be some passion there. What is the Ace of Wands, please? Sorry, there we go. All right, Ace of Wands. We have the Fool Energy, the Nine of Wands, the Five of Coins. Wow, it's it kind of looks like love that's going to possibly, again, it could be unexpected. It could be someone that loves you, someone who's not showing you truly how they do love you and care about you. It's like something that could blossom out of something you didn't expect. Um, like one of the things I'm thinking is like you could be moving home or moving back in with something, someone you don't really want to possibly. Might be part of your job also to be some type of healthcare worker or to, I don't know, but I just know that, that what's gonna happen is you may not think it's that great at first but this could turn into maybe romance um, connections with family I mean you feel more abundant look at you may be feeling out in the cold right now whether it's finances or you just feel lonely and this is like being around family friends um, loved ones that type of energy so accept the help that's being given to you again especially if you're feeling kind of scattered it's there for you someone is going to show you how much they care so I'm going to leave it there you guys have a fantastic week and I'll talk to you soon